Welcome to your audio waveform tutorial. The audio waveform is a great visual element that can make sounds look more interesting and is perfect for repurposing audio into videos that you can then post on social media. Podcasters and musicians, I'm looking at you. So in this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to create these audio waveform videos using an online tool that works in your browser called Kapwing. This process is completely free if your file is seven minutes or less. Processing videos in the cloud does get expensive for us though. So if you're trying to make an audio waveform from a file that's longer than seven minutes, you will need to get the pro version of Kapwing. To get started, just click the first link in the description below and I'll meet you there. So to get to the waveform creator, just click the first link in the description below and it'll take you here. I would highly recommend signing into your account on Kapwing. This is totally free to do and it ensures that no watermark is added to your video at the end. It'll also allow you to save your work in the cloud. So once you're signed in and you're here, just click get started. And the first step is to upload your audio file or video file, or you can paste the link to an audio or video file. So for example, we have this uh, video on our YouTube channel. Uh, it's a tutorial showing how to save the audio from YouTube videos. And I wanna make a promo video from using this audio. So I'm just gonna copy the URL to this video, the one at the top, and then I'm gonna go back to the waveform creator and just paste it in. Everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing, and today I'm so you can see it's already created the waveform, even though the file was originally a video, a YouTube video that looked like this. It turned it into just the audio waveform. So you can see that if I play the video now, it plays and the waveform changes with the inflections in my voice and the, the sound. So from here you have a bunch of different options for the appearance and the rest of your video. You can change the style of this waveform. So this is one style, but we have a second style that looks more like this. It doesn't require you re And I can drag and move this waveform anywhere on the screen. I can resize it to make it only part of the screen. Uh, you can also change the fill color. So if I wanted to make it this color instead, it can change that. And you can also increase the speed of your audio file. So since this is a promotion video that I'm trying to make for uh, our Instagram, I'm going to actually trim down this audio because it's a little bit long for Instagram. I'm gonna try and make it only 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna use these dots at the end and move it down to just the intro. Cool, so it will only save this purple part right here and then I'm gonna click done and resize this waveform, put it at the bottom. Now when I play it, Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing, and today I'm It looks good to me. So if you want the original video, like the visual elements from the video to be included in this, you can just go back to, you can just click upload here and then upload or paste the link to that same exact file. So I'm gonna go back to my YouTube video, copy the link again, and then paste it right into that box. And now it'll pull up the actual video as well. So this video has the audio attached to it, but we also have the audio playing in, this, in the form of the waveform down here. So I'm gonna actually mute the sound on this video so that I have the video playing, but also the waveform's audio. And turn it into an MP3 audio. If you trimmed down your original waveform clip, you're gonna have to trim down this video as well. So I'm just gonna do that quickly. So now I have the visual element of the video with this all other visual element of the waveform. If you don't wanna include the video, that's totally fine. I'm actually not gonna include it, but I do want to add some other visual elements. So you can add text, for example, to introduce people to the video. And you have options on this, the right side here for text. You can include images and search for them right here. And then resize that. And another thing you can do is add subtitles. So while the waveform is really cool to look at, if you're posting your video to social media, it's always a good idea to add subtitles so more people can hear and access what you're saying. So just click subtitles in this bar up above and you can either add them manually line by line or I like to auto-generate my subtitles and then go in afterwards and edit them so that they're correct. So I've just auto-generated all these subtitles. You can see them here and there will be parts where they're not correct. So I know here I say, this is Grace from Kapwing 
go in through every line and make sure it's correct. On the side here is a preview of what they'll look like. So you can see that they're on the bottom of the screen and that's gonna overlap with the actual waveform itself. So I'm gonna move them up to the middle and then I'm gonna remove the background and make the text black. Once you're happy with how your subtitles look, you can just click done. And this is what my video looks like right now. Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing and today I'm gonna show you how you can take any YouTube video and turn it into an mp3 audio file. I can also change the background color. Maybe I'll change it to black and then change this back to white and make the subtitles white as well. So this is what my final video should look like. And, today I'm gonna show you how you and I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to now finish it up by clicking export video. My video has loaded and now this is the final product. It's the same as in the editor. Um, I'm gonna save this file to my computer by clicking download here and it'll save as a video file. You can always go back in and edit or make a copy of this project. Uh, and if you copy the link and share it with other people, it'll take them to this exact page where they can view your video and then even download it themselves. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content creation tips and tricks. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, just let us know in the comments and we'll see you in the next video.